vision of Rural Technology Park, RTP. Accelerate wide dissemination of appropriate and affordable technologies to the rural poor for increasing productivity and enhancing quality of life, thereby enabling the community to move towards sustainable development. In NIRD, a rural technology park had been established. In these centers, we have some linkages with the rural areas wherein rural women are brought out and trained. Or our teams go and train rural women and they start production. But there is a problem with that. And that problem is that it is limited in reach. Therefore, we propose to upgrade this into a technology, what we call technology bank. Banking, the concept of banking involves two primary activities. That is taking deposits and lending. Therefore, what we have proposed that is that we will create a platform. We want our rural product to take advantage of the international markets and of the national markets. And in this, the technology has a major role and we recognize that criticality and we are trying to take the technology, uh, operationalize the technology with a firm rural base. The Rural Technology Park started its activities at NARD campus Rajendranagar since 2002. It is established in the area of 65 acre which is having of technologies with the demonstration of different cost-effective buildings, rural sanitation, and different technological model. In other way, we can say that the RTP works as a skill development center in promotion of different cost-effective and affordable technologies to the rural mass. The National Rural Building Centre The National Rural Building Centre which brings together a range of construction technologies to provide a window to a variety of materials technologies. Blends between the traditional and the conventional techniques of construction. These structures are constructed utilising the locally available materials and skills of the people. The cost of construction will be approximately 30 to 50% less than that of the present cost of construction depending on the soil typology and the locally available resources along with the construction techniques. The permutations and combination of these 45 technologies are depicted in the 14 structures of National Rural Building Centre. This rural building centre at NIRD is serving as a national level demonstration unit and incorporated building technologies from different parts and localities of the country. As a part of transfer of the housing technologies, some of the works have already been taken up in some of the villages. The search for new and innovative techniques of construction is in process and as a part of that one new technology on constructing houses made with koi composite boards is also placed in RTP in the area of rural building center. Technological units Vermicompost The vermicompost unit produces around 20 tons of compost in a month and supplies to market. Biopesticides unit Indiscriminate use of chemical pesticides has led to the problems of pest resistance. Advancement of minor pest to major pest. The concept on integrated pest management in which the biological agents play a very important role owing to their host-specific and eco-friendly nature. The Bacillus thuringiensis Bt, a microbial pest control agent, is being produced at RTP and supplies to the agriculture department and farmers. Solar Energy Unit The NIRD facilitated four illiterate women to get training on establishment of solar workshop and production of different solar appliances. These barefoot solar engineers have proved their expertise in production, operation and establishment of home lighting systems in remote villages of Andhra Pradesh and Odisha. Fashion Jewellery 
The fashion jewelry unit at RTP provides skill training to disabled persons. The jewelry is sold in craft fairs, local boutiques and many other outlets, thus ensuring their livelihood. The waste materials such as cotton rags, hosiery cuttings, silk rags, handmade paper waste and agro wastes are used to make handmade paper. Since the inputs are mostly raw material wastes, it is low cost and eco-friendly industry. The technology process is simple and it does not require highly skilled manpower. The handmade paper industry has emerged as one of the important livelihood options in rural India. The technology is simple, successful and quite easy for replication in other rural parts of India. It is based on the recycling of all waste material through user-come gender-friendly process, thereby providing livelihood for the rural poor. Simple value addition gives good profit returns. Wherever the units are functioning in a cluster, marketing is organized in an effective and efficient manner. The handmade paper conversion unit produces stationery, notebooks, scribbling pads, file covers, folders, carry bags, visiting and invitation cards, gifts and novelties like albums, photo frames and gift boxes, lampshades, wallpapers, etc. Fashion Designing Unit Placement linked skill development training program on fashion designing and garment are being organized by this unit. This unit facilitates the aspirants to get placements in different apparel industries and promote self-employment. Honey Processing Unit Honey is generally used as nutrient food and in Ayurvedic medicine system. The beehive boxes placed in the farmer's fields have been collected and processing of honey is being carried out by removing the foreign particles and reducing the excess moisture to the desired level. The unit organizes training for the farmers and creating awareness on importance of beekeeping. Different flavors of honey has different medicinal values. Leaf Plate Making The Leaf Plate Making Unit has given a scope for self-employment for rural and tribal people with a reasonable investment. These leaflets are biodegradable and hygienic in nature. These can be made with simple machinery. Neem Processing Unit The neem products are generally effective against early instars of different insects. The farmers are encouraged to collect and store neem seed during the summer and it has been processed in different forms like neem oil, neem powder and neem cake. The neem oil acts as a repellent to the pests. The neem oil also helps in protection of the plants. The neem powder and neem cake acts as a good nutrient and also protects the termite attack to the plants. Natural Dyeing Unit The technology on natural dye is suitable to the cotton handloom weaver's production process. It builds the weaver's ability to produce six standardized eco-friendly natural dyes from potential herbal natural resources. This unit trains the group of weavers and dyers throughout the country in natural dyeing of different fibers. Medicinal Plants Nursery To spread awareness, preserve and promote herbal cultivation and to revitalize the traditional medicine sector, a medicinal plant nursery has been established in the RTP. The unit maintains 100 species of aromatic and medicinal plants. Food Process Unit the value-added food process unit in RTP produces tomato sauce, chili sauce, vinegar and other products. The products are mainly utilizing the perishable products. As the food processing unit helps to enhance the shelf life of agricultural produce, the farmers are able to get good value to their products. Home-based production unit Large number of entrepreneurs have been emerged after attending training from this unit. The pearls processing and tribal jewellery making has emerged as a very important activity for the rural artisans who are looking for a creative and innovativeness in making of jewellery by using pearls, metals, thread beads, ruby, stone crystal, emerald, copper, silver and other jewellery accessories. This is having a very good market potential by which the rural artisans can generate a sustainable livelihood opportunities. The unit offers training capacity building and also assisting in establishing market linkages.
successful entrepreneurs. The skill development training programs organized by the partners of RTP help the trainers to become successful entrepreneurs. The aspirants established small-scale units by forming self-help groups. The production of home-based products such as phenyl, detergent powder, dishwash powder are being produced and marketed. We are the members of the Akhilandeshwari Women's Welfare Association. RTP trainers in home-based chemicals production. The trainings help to start garment design, handmade products such as paper bags, gift boxes, etc. as an income generating activity. By this way, the self-help groups are being empowered and enhance the standard of living. We are members of Jyoti Self Help Group. We were trained by RTP, NIRD, and self employed by earning sustainable income. We are from the North East, from the North East Assam. We have started to start our own unit with RTP, NIRD. We have done a fashion designing, pattern making course, Vishakha Patnam, Indo German Institute of Advanced Technology. वहाँ यहाँ एनर्जी से सारे लोग वहाँ जाके हम लोगों का काम देख के यहाँ पे ये ऐसा कुछ स्कोप देंगे ये बोल के सारे लोग हम लोगों को यहाँ पे बुलाया हम लोग आसाम से आके यहाँ फिलहाल अपना काम स्टार्ट किया है हम लोगों ने यहाँ पे एक सेल्फ हेल्प ग्रुप बनाया है और इसी इसी दौरान हम लोग यहाँ के जो भी इंटरेस्टेड है ये ट्रेनिंग करने के लिए उन लोग को ये ट्रेनिंग हम लोग के यहाँ आर टी पी मदद से इन लोगों को यहाँ पर मिलेगा एनर्जी और आरटीपी के तरफ से हमको जो भी सहायता मिला हम इसके लिए सदा आभारी रहेंगे थैंक्स टू एनर्जी धन्यवाद